taking on Kim. It's a rivalry that has seen plenty of action. Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young lead that head to head 7 to 4 in black. what is their 12th meeting. Red. Red. You want death code? Your choice. Who serve? My you. So we saw that uh, the Koreans won. The toss and have chosen the far end of the court. Mayu Matsumoto will serve to Kim So Young. Well, the last time they met these two, it was at the Japan Open last year, and they met in the semi final stages where Kim and Kong won 14 21, 21 13, 21 10. Before that, it was the Korea Open in the semi finals as well, and Kim and Kong won 21 16, 19 21, 21 12. You'd have to go back to Indonesia last year, where Japan recorded their victory. 21-17, 21-16. Mayu Matsumoto, 28 years of age, ranked number eight in the world with her partner, Wakana Nagahara, there in front of your screens. Of course, former world number one, as I mentioned, that was back in April of 2019. Have a 72% win record in their career. They beat teammates Hirokami and Kato in straights in the first round and then would push the distance against Kiritaro Kul and Ravinder Prajongjai coming through in three hard-fought games that took 74 minutes. So that was a big win for them to get to this quarter-final stage. Probably instilled some confidence, some belief in the Japanese game. Something they will need against these opponents they're facing. Kong Hee Young, the younger of the two at 27 from Jejeon ranked three and uh, of course also former world number ones with her partner Kim So Young that was back in October 2022 and speaking of Kim So Young she's 31 now from Daegu South Korea they have a 72% win record in the career as well these two and so in this rivalry as you see we see that they had Two straight game wins, but it was a lot tougher in the second round against Lee and Luo. Took over an hour to beat them, 28-26 in that second, but they came through. I'm happy to be back in the quarterfinals of the Super Ready 750. So for Japan, the fact that three of their four wins were back in 2018-2019, and Korea have won three of the four since 2020 Olympics, will be something that they will probably have in the back of their minds. That Indonesia Open win was uh, extremely important for them to have a better record as we see the officials for the match. But these conditions are extremely different from Indonesia. And so it'll be interesting to see how 
they contend with it. Six of the 11 matches in the past have gone to three games. And all three game matches have been won by Kim and Kong. So history and paper supports Kim and Kong, but Mayu Matsumoto and Jibakana Nagahara have shown time and again that there are no pushovers. A first India Open for the Japanese pair. This is their debut and they're in the quarterfinals, which is a very good showing, one might add, for what is their first tournament here in Delhi. For Kim so Young and Kong hee it is a second India Open appearance as a pair. Last year, they lost in the second round to Iwanaga and Nakanishi in two games. Kim so Young, though, has also played here previously with her partner Chang Yina, and that was back in 2013 and 2014. And the point to note is, in 2013, Kim so Young and Chang Yina reached the semi-finals before losing to Denmark's Julian Pedersen in two games. So, looking to make a semi-final again, Kim So Young, with a different partner. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim So Young and Kong Yi Young, Korea. And on my left, Wakana Nagahara and Mayu Mutsumoto, Japan. Mayu Mutsumoto to serve. To Kim Seo Yong, play. No. Jumped on that early, Kim Seo Yong. So we saw one love. Well, they played at the Malaysia Open, both these pairs, last week, and both lost in the second round. Kim and Kong losing to Japanese pair of Iwanaga and Nakanishi in straights. That's gone wide. Matsumoto and Nakahara losing to All. India's Karasto and Punapa, to many surprise, in three games. They came undone at the Malaysia Open. She hit that hard, Kong Two, Young. One. Found the net. Well, she was never going to get to it. Three. Kim so Young, she was watching the shuttle, hoping that it would go long. Finds the corner instead. Oh, nice. Four, well played one. by the Japanese. Look how low she was to try and play that shuttle back just above the net. Wakana Nagahara got a bend fairly low down. It was Five, Wakana Nagahara one. who sort of controlled that rally for a large part. Matsumoto redirecting the shuttle that Kim so Young then gave chase. And Nagahara was at the net to put it away. 5-1 now. Play. Fantastic. Lots of flat exchanges. Six, one. And Nagahara right on top of that. 
She moved effortlessly from the front, from the back to the front. And then look at that flat exchange that she was able to keep the pressure on her opponents. So young. Catching her opponent by surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Changing the pace the second time round. Stops okay. a five point run. Sorry, a six point run of the Japanese. So that Matsumoto is a tall player. Seven. You can't two. give her a loose lift. She's going to absolutely jump on that. It came at the perfect height. Still going. The waist level of Kim So Young. That shot. Kim So Young just has to try and move it away from her body. So that was the longest rally of the game so far, and we're still early on. 53 shots. Of brackets, and I think early on the stark Nine. difference is that Two. Matsumoto and Nagahara are a lot more aware of each other's positions, have a very good understanding of who's taking what shot, and move around the court smoothly as a pair, which is not what you can say about Kim and Kong at the moment. There's a few clashing of so brackets. So well. Three. Nine. Cover each other a little bit better. Still a six point lead. Play. decision nine it was gonna be a long exchange otherwise play it's the first time they've stung two points together Kim and Kong they need a few more What so vision so from Mayu Matsumoto Ten, to four. find that far corner. It's 
and look at that, goes for the net roll, sets it up, and even though it comes at an awkward height, she's able to direct the shuttle to the far corner so well. Right down Sound the middle. Over. Big smash. Five, ten. Shot. Matsumoto and Nakahara take the lead 11 5 at the break. Six points ahead of their opponents. They definitely made the right start here. We had 10 minutes of play. Seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Players back on court. Kim. Kim. Back on court. Back on court. Eleven five. So back on court, and Play. it's Matsumoto and Nagahara who are up eleven five in this opening game. Good aggressive 12, hits from the net five. from Matsumoto. She first tried to get it at waist level, and then when the lift came back, she went for an even steeper shot. That would be very, very difficult to play back. Nice. Service over. Was wider. Six, twelve. With that smash. Kim So Young. with that Matsumoto holding herself to very high standards unsurprisingly given that they've had a really good start here still looking for a better performance see a service 13, from Kong Hyong there Seven. Few open spaces on court, and that's where the mistakes are coming. You can see there, first she tries to go side, then through the middle. Play. And then Kong Hyun rushed in to try and take it early and find that open space, which she didn't. Whereas Matsumoto and Nakahara are playing far seven. more sensibly at the moment. Kong passed the shuttle. Yeah. 
Lovely. Effortless. 16 from 7. The Japanese end. They're barely putting a foot wrong at the moment. She saw that a mile away, that corner, Nagahara. It's just a matter of putting the shuttle away. Finally, she finds so over. Eight, that 16. middle space, Bong Hee Young. Trying to put those smashes away hasn't been easy so far. Body shot. Executed Nine, effectively. She was defending that body shot and then to be have sort of the awareness to put it away in the front court like she did. That's fantastic, really. Thank you. So nine points ahead, they stay. Matsumoto and Nagahara, they'll be really happy with how this first game has played out. It's a very different prospect to the match in the second round against the Thai players, Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai. Sabisova. Where it Ten, was a much 17. closer affair. Lower drop from the back court. 11, 17. Good mix of pace. And Kim Seong very often sort of opens up her body like she's going to go for the smash, but is able to change that up very quickly. Late. And I think it's because she plays a lot of those forehands quite flatly instead of getting those steep angles that it's harder to guess or gauge if she's going for the smash or the fast shot or the drop. Yes. Kong Hyung was ready. 12, 17. That's a three points in a row for the Koreans for the very first time in this game. Better control by Kim and Kong now. Oh, she missed it. But they've been trying so for a long. while through that rally to 18, go for that 12. right hand side, the spaces, and credit to the Japanese 18. where they've defended those shots pretty well. And then this Kong Hee Young was trying to get a little bit further. To skim the outside line, but misses instead. Ah! 
lightest of touches 19, from Mayu Matsumoto 12. at the net. Just raises her racket and gently pushes the shuttle over right on the tee. Two points away from taking this first game. Halt. Service over. 13, 19. Still six points to try and conquer six point gap, which at this stage seems a much harder task when the opponents are just two away from taking the game. And it's landed out. So well so left, and that's seven game point game opportunities point. for Matsumoto and Nagahara. Game. And it is the Japanese number eight. First game won by Mayu Matsumoto and Rakana Nagahara. The opening game 21, 21 13. 13. They really have been the better of the two pairs and uh, didn't let go of that lead from the start. Just 20 minutes played and they have that first game in the bag. あと必ずまつもとのところで上ラウンドからそう。Seconds for two twenty seconds. So my Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara have taken the first game twenty one thirteen. Took them twenty minutes to do that. And like I said, right from the start they established control and they held on to it till the game was over. Which leaves Second Kim Soo-young and Kong Hee-young with plenty Love to one. do. Play. Mayu Matsumoto will serve to get the second game underway. A long rally to begin with. Kim and Pong making their intentions know that they're here to stay. Nagahara throwing everything at them at the moment from the back court. And that's gone so as long as Matsumoto One. steps to intervene. No.
Well, of the six matches I said that went to three games, Kim and Kong on three occasions have come back from a game down to win. So they've done it in the past, and it was in fact in Japan, which was their last meeting, that they dropped the first game 14 21 before coming back to win. It's highly possible that we're going to see something like that happen. Matsumoto Nakahara, of course, with multiple straight game wins to their name, will also make that happen. Service over. One, all. Kept the shuttle pretty close to the net. Long past the shuttle. In that exchange. Nagahara. Hey. 11 HSBC BWF World Tour titles. Sorry, four HSBC BWF World Tour titles, 10 runners up on tour. Oh, beautiful. So, so well. All out aggression from King and Kong at Two, the net. One. Both of them stepping forward to charge, kill the shuttle off. Matsumoto Nakahara, Kim, who Kim. desperate to get back on the podium after what seems like ages. 2021 was their last title win. Wakana. Play must be continuous. Don't delay the game. You must be quicker. The umpire. Shakir of India having a quick chat with all four saying not to delay. Keep moving on. So it's been more than two years since they've won. In fact, at All England this year, it'll be three years since they've won a title. Matsumoto Nagahara. So they're absolutely desperate Service over. to get back to winning ways. Two, all. Got to the final of the Canada Open last year and lost out to their teammates, Matsuyama and Shida, in straight games. Very different story for Kim and Kong, who had a fairly successful year. 11 HSBC BWF World Tour titles, three of which, sorry, four of which they won last year. In all England, Thailand, at the Japan Open, and the Australian Open. Three, two. Two. Playing in the first quarterfinal of 2024. Very keen to show him where to wipe. Get the big show win him there. Where to wipe. 2023, Matsumoto and Nagahara were 10 to 7 in quarterfinals. Which kind of gives you an indication of Thank the you. form they were in and why they've not been able to win as many titles as one thought they would. With the Kim and Kong, there were eight wins to two losses at quarterfinals in 2023. So they progressed to the semifinals numerous times. Five, two. A lot more devastating at this stage of a tournament. Just 
Hong Kong Yee Hyung challenges. Kong Hee Hyung will challenge called it. out. It's called out. And if they're able to successfully challenge, it'll stop a four point run, which will be very important for Korea. Nine judges have been pretty strong throughout this tournament and they are challenge right unsuccessful more. one challenge remaining it is indeed long okay okay and so now five, five. points in a row Sorry. for matsumoto and nagahara six two play Seven, two. Back to back errors on the back line for Korean. So we are looking to three, seven. change the pace, change. change the direction, trying to get over her opponents. But Matsumoto was doing all the hard work from the backboard there, and Nangahara looking to change things up. Instead, makes the error. That's what they've been very good at. So we saw one. Finding those opportunities. Eight, the drop shot three. there. Cross court winner here. The variety that they're showing in their game. Yep. Not pleased at Nine, the moment. Three. Korean women's doubles coach. Because she's seeing once more the Japanese clamp their authority here. Kim so young driving that straight into the net. Nine. Excellent stuff. Ten. Three. Couldn't have been placed better. Look at that. On the backhand, the lob lands on the line. Eleven three interval. And so at the mid game break, Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara find themselves in a very similar situation as the open game. Eleven three up, ten minutes played. Commanding lead here against the high rank opponents. So the question, of course, on everybody's mind is what can Kim and Kong do 11, three, to play. change the way this match has played out so far? And I think the first thing they've got to do is stop making the mistakes, the errors. Service over. Four, 11. Try and play more safely if it means longer rallies and trying to get themselves in more winning positions. That's easier said than done, of course. I'm sure the coaches have said plenty. Yep, the flat. Five, 11. Attacking forehand, close to Matsumoto's underarm area.
But the fact is that the Japanese so just won't go away. 12. Much to the annoyance of Kim and Kong. They're there, they're playing defensively and then just look for opportunities or wait for their opponent to make the mistake. And that's proving extremely difficult to overcome. Seven point lead again. They were eight points up at the break. The errors have been way too high from the Korean racket, and they'll be ruining that. And again. Kim so young. 14, 5. Struggling at the moment. Games have gone off the rails a bit. That's better. Service so over. Six, 14. You've got to play those longer rallies. Stamp more authority in the exchanges. Good low, sir. Look at that. They're able to Sobe redirect Sobe. the shuttle extremely well. 15, time and time six. again, Matsumoto Nagahara. Number eight seeds just finding the spaces on the court a lot better. And there's 16, been no let up six. for the world number threes. Now up to 10 points the lead. Guiding the 17, shuttle away six. cross court it was a smart play from Mayu Matsumoto. As she saw both the Koreans on one end, she knew they'd be giving chase all the way. She missed it. Clash so with over. as well, but Koreans Seven. will take it. 17. Ten points. Four Play. away from a place in the semi final. Eight, seventeen. Even though the Koreans are not giving up, it just feels like there's a lot of work to be done here. Last time, Matsumoto and Nagahara were in a semi-final. Was it Kumamoto? That long ago, it was incidentally their last quarterfinal victory as well. Nine, 
17. Forcing her to lift. Giving the Koreans more Play. control. Ten, so this is a 17. good little spell that the Koreans have uh, conjured up. Four points in a row now. But is that gap too big? We know they have the experience. I mean, I'm talking about a pair that have won the silver medal at the World Championships, the bronze medal at the Olympics. There's no doubt they have the experience. But the opponents are on a similar level in terms of experience. Ooh, clash of rackets again. But the mistake so over. coming off Kong Hyong instead. 10. Just running out of ideas now, Kim and Kong. Quick, and the mistakes quick. are coming thick and fast. Quick. Back on court. Three points away from a semi-final berth. Back on court. Service for call, too high. Service over. 11, 18. Service for drone. Mayu Matsumoto is too high. Seven point gap. Play. Caught on one end. They recovered well there. Oh, lovely. She had to get down on the ground pretty much 12, to play that 18. return, but it was well worth it. Kong Hee Yong saw that the shots were getting flatter. And so to give her that height, she just went down towards the ground, bent, play the return. She got the point. Play. Interesting prospects, isn't it? Not so long ago, Matsumoto and Nagahara were nine, sorry, 11 points ahead. And here we are, five point gap. So we saw what? Oh, they'll be annoyed by that. 19. That's for sure. 13. Kim and Kong, who worked so hard. To close out the gap, make the error at the net. Play on. Kong Hee Yong, who tries to guide her backhand, sort of guide her shuttle with the backhand, against the net. Oh. Service over. Stunning drop. 14, 19. That's the quality they bring. Lovely return. Ah! 
Well, they withstood Sabasova. a mini challenge and now 20 match points have carved out six 14. match point opportunities. Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. Just when he thought Kim and Pong might have swung the momentum their way. Matsumoto and Nagahara right back on top. Six match points. Game. And the error on the return from Kim So Yong hands the Japanese number eight seeds the win. 21 13, 21 14. Straight game win for well played. Matsumoto and Nagahara. Well played. Really didn't give Kim and Kong a match look won in, by in this Mayu match. Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. 21 13, 21 14. Stayed in control throughout very much. On top of the game at the moment, uh, Matsumoto and Nagahara as they march into their first semi-final of the year. Straight game wins over their higher ranked opponents, Kim and Kong, in 42 minutes. Lee Zi Jia. And here is Shi Yu Chi of China, the number six seed. One of the favorites to win the title. Former champion here, of course, and that's why a crowd favorite, the 27 year old. He won it in 2018 when he made his debut here at the India Open. He beat Cho Chin Chen in the final, 21-18, 21-14 then. Looking to go all the way and repeat the feat one more time. Chi right. leads 1-0 in their head-to-head. -head. Red and black. The only meeting coming at the black for Thailand you. Masters Red for you. last year. In the second round, and Chi Uchi won you that won in three, 21-18, 12-21, 21-12.
He won this side. And here he is. He won this side. Looking to get a second win in a row over his much younger opponent in Koki Watanabe, making his India Open debut is Watanabe. He too has had an impressive run of late on the HSBC BW World Tour. Up to the finals last year of the Swiss Open, which he won, and then also of the Korea Masters, which he lost to Kento Momota. 24 years of age from Saitama in Japan. He's ranked 22 in the world, which he's enjoying. Got here in 